This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. One day in DCS we all hope that we'll get a MiG-25 and a MiG-31 or, and or a MiG-31. Until then, we're stuck with the mods uh, and we're looking at the MiG-31 today by Robert. Thank you very much, Robert, uh, with refueling capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is come to this website. I will give you the link in the video description. Then you're going to click download, ping, let that download. It's going to download a RAR file. Okay, we're going to open our RAR file. We're going to get two pieces of information. Let's get rid of that and let's show you how to install them. So first we need to find our saved games folder. Very important that you find this folder correctly. It's probably going to be on your uh, C drive, users, your user, and there. I've actually moved mine. Mine's now on my F drive. If you want to know how to move it, just search. I've got a video showing you how to do it. Save games. DCS, it's actually DCS Open Beta, I've got 2.5.6. DCS Open Beta 2.5.6. Okay, and we are going to have in there a folder called Mods. If you don't have a folder called Mods, make one exactly like that. In there, we're going to have Aircraft. If you don't have Aircraft, make one exactly like that. In there, we're going to move the uh, MiG-31 folder here. What I would do is I would uh, left-click on that. I would copy it, if you can see copy. I can't so what I'd in fact then do is a left control and C put it over here left control and V and it will copy it out or you could use the extract tool there either way um, and there it is obviously I've done it already next is script so let's go back to our save games DCS open beta or DTS script if scripts isn't there obviously put it in there and you are going to then copy the database subfolder into scripts in your DCS okay Again, with the extract tool or control C and control V. So I've already done it, so I don't need to do it. Next, let's hop into DCS. Okay, let's go through the boring but necessary piece of uh, setting up the controls. So, from your main menu, options, controls. Let's go look at MiG 31. There he is. Now, setting this is up. Setting this up is going to be like setting up any Flaming Cliffs 3 plane, and I should say you will need Flaming Cliffs 3 for this to work. Okay. So it's best to do it by the um, submenus here because it will just narrow everything down. Axis controls. You will need to, of course, set your hotess up to have the pitch and the roll and the rudder and the thrust or thrust left and right. It's up to you. And I like to have a zoom view axis as well. OK, next. We're going to go to uh, do we want flight control? Yep. You're going to need your trims and you're going to need your trim up, down, left and right and that's probably all I've done in there next uh, it's gonna be modes you won't change these but you've got these different modes one two three four and we're gonna be using most of all for this for the beyond visual range mode it's basically the same as operating a flanker if you know how to operate a flanker which you will do if you've already got this mod because you've got Fleming Cliffs 3 then you'll know how to do all this next sensors just exactly the same as the flanker so we can zoom the display in or out in fact, i'm going to change that while i'm here to my normal process uh, we've got o for our electro optical system we've got i for our radar and uh, what else is useful we can use tws if we want we've got the scone zone scan up down left and right is going to be useful and necessary i've got them as the numpad cursor keys two eight four and six Target designator, we're going to need up, down, left and right for moving him about. Target lock, you're going to need, put him on my joystick and that will do. Next, we're going to need systems. We're going to need air brake on and off. We're going to need flaps up and down. And what else have we got? Wheel brake on will be a good one to put onto your hotas. Uh, don't forget refueling boom. We're going to do some refueling. So set that up. It's left control R or set it up as something else. And uh, we can probably live for every, everything else otherwise. Uh, next, we're going to go to uh, weapons. Fire button, put on my HOTAS. Weapon change, I put on my HOTAS. Launch permission override, I put on a key. And select cannon. There, OK. That's enough set up and ready to go. So that's OK to that. Let's go to mission editor. I'm going to open a mission that I've already done. Make 31. If you wanted to add a MiG-31, you would add a new aircraft group there put it on a blue base or in the air whatever you want to do put it in there we will change it here to a mig uh, 31 oh dear it's not there why is that because i haven't selected russia russia 
and all of a sudden MiG-31 is there. Make it client so you can drive it. Um, you can put it in the air or on the ground hot, whatever you fancy doing. And then we can go and arm it up, which is the cool bit. So we can have on outer pylons, I don't know these missiles, but R40R radar, R40T electro-optical, thermal, or two R60 mics, um, which is cool. On the belly pylons, we've got four belly pylons, a bit like a Tomcat, I suppose. I suppose this is kind of an equivalent Tomcat. I never thought about that. It is, isn't it, guys? It's a, it's a long-range intercept bomber interceptor, which is what the Tomcat is, essentially. Uh, anyway, uh, I wonder how much it was actually based on. It's interesting. Uh, anyway, we've got the air to missiles, so the R-33. So that's the M-54 Phoenix of, of, of Russia, basically, the R-33 which I'm still learning about myself. Um, it appears to have parable, uh, comparable parameters. It seems to go about 130 miles, exactly the same as a uh, uh, Phoenix in DCS, which is cool. So uh, I'm going to arm up with four R33s on the belly and a couple of R40s on the side. Um, and it just so happens I've already done that because I wanted to save time. Let's go and show off our MiG-31. Save, go. And we're in. First thing you want to do is press right control and right shift and forward slash on the numpad. That does that. Moves you away. Don't know why. You just need to do that. You can go forward with star, by the way. Next thing you need to do is right control and right shift and eight on the numpad to do that. Why do you need to do that? Don't know. It's just how this works. Next, let's have a look around. This is a MiG-29. This is basically just a MiG-29 with a frock on. Um, and you can see, look, it's got these kind of nasty... Where's my cursor? Uh, extra bows and stuff here and don't try and dogfight in this because if you want to dogfight you have to look through that and that sucks uh, all the way back there and what you can do is say hello to matey and there is matey you've got a little mate there who's got ba -ba -ba, a periscope thing which is kind of very 1930s but Russia okay and let's have a look at some air brakes and stuff while I'm here where are the air brakes where are the air brakes don't appear to have any okay fine flaps yeah we've got flaps and do we have a shoot? We do not appear to have a shoot. Uh, anyway, otherwise, it's a pretty cool model. You can see my uh, four R40s and my Phoenix skis, which are basically look almost identical to a Phoenix, interestingly. Uh, surprise, surprise. On the belly and uh, with the pallets. And that's it for that. So let's go and do some tings. Look at that smokiest baby. That is a MiG-31, boys, and we are flying it. Yeah, The power of the thing is horrendous. Up we go. Oh, gear up. It's not easy to fly. <laughs> it's really not easy to fly. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, however, very fast. And fast is good. Okay, um, I mean, to actually drive the thing, to, to, to fight, to fight all the weapons, it's identical to a flanker or a MiG-29. There's no point in me wasting your time because you already know it. If you don't, then go and watch my flanker or MiG-29 videos. So we'll skip to the fun part, which is what you came to see. By the way, we've got the data link down here. It's got the flanker data link, which is wicked. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom climb and attack. There is a capitalist scum pig in a B1 coming to attack my beloved Russia. And we are going to do what the MiG-31 does best, which is fly very high and very fast and shooting down with my Phoenix skis. Stand by. So, I'm at 30,000 plus feet, and I'm going like the clappers. Look at that. Woo! And I know ahead of me is a scum pig, so let's get him sorted. Yeah, if I'm wobbling, because that's because this is really hard to fly. I'm going to press 2 for BBR. I'm going to press I for radar. I'm going to zoom out, out my radar. Oh, if I can remember how to. Ah! There we go. Scum pig on the data link. You can see down the bottom right. Let's go and get him. Can't lock him. Why? Because he's too far. So we can get ranging, we can get azimuth, and, but we can't get uh, we can't get an STT or a TWS at the moment. Oh, we can now. And he is at a range of let me just read out uh, 100 kilometers, about 70 miles, 70 miles. Okay. Let's select our weapon, R33, and uh, select it. Let us uh, blah, 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 blah. launch motion override. Done. And let's fire one of these babies. Basically, a phoenix in a frock. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't turn you on, and I'll tell you a liar. The power of this thing is unbelievable. Look at it go. Friggin' amazing. Right, that's that. Oh, better go and find the baddie. Uh, oh, let's just pause and see how our missiles are actually doing. Stand by. So we've got... Now, this is going to set your pants alight. We've got our first missile doing 
2,800 knots. And I think it's slowing down. Or speedy, I'm not sure. No, it's, it's been up to about 3,000 knots. And even a Phoenix, as far as I'm aware, can't do that. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? Must maintain a lock. I think we're a semi-active radar homing at, at least at the moment. I don't know a lot about this missile and I won't pretend to. Don't know why. Oh, I had full right rudder. Well done, Cap, you idiot. Yep, I do that, I'm afraid. Look how it flies straight and true, like a, um, I don't know, a missile that flies straight and true. Whereas in real life, it would almost certainly be dropping down on top of them, right? Come on, capitalist scum pig. Let's put an end to you. Boom, look at that, and he's a dead man. Uh, information from the stream. The speed of the R-33 is Mach 4.5 to Mach 6. So it's a real beast. I've never seen a Maverick, a uh, Maverick, a Phoenix above, what, Mach 4.9, Mach 5? So I reckon it's a little bit faster than the Phoenix for whatever reason. Right, that's that. Done. Next, let's go and do some refueling. Okay, valued viewers. Okay, valued viewers. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try. Communications menu. F6. F1. Right, that's promising. Let's go and find him. I'd love to tell you how fast I'm going, value viewers, but my Mach meter is broken, as you can see there, which is a bit weird. Maximum speed of this aircraft, 3,000 kilometers an hour. We've got a Mach, Mach 2.83, official. I bet it goes a lot faster if you take the restrictor off, guys. Just like the 25, that'll go 3.2 if you take the restrictor off. Oh. Oh, the visibility in this thing is wonderful. Why would you design it with that? All right, sir. Right, get the uh, the two refueler thing out. The button we set earlier. Ah, oh, I got the air brakes working at least. Oh, that's not going to end well. Don't worry, I'll use the X invisibility. Oh, that's one thing this KC-135 operator wasn't expecting. A fox bat. Ah, oh, about time. Now, which one is he? He hasn't told me which one to go on, but. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, I suppose, guys. Watch this. Yep, this is impossible. One thing we don't like is the capitalist free market system. And the excellent health benefits! Oh, come on, I was in! I'm basically trying to add error fuel to MiG-29, which is, for all intents and purposes, not possible. Oh! There is a circle above, and I don't know what that circle means. That little green circle. Do you know what the circle... Super Cup! Refueling a friggin' Milk 31. Oh, I've got to take a picture. Cool or friggin' cool. Love it. Right, that'll do me. Get out of here. So, valued viewers, that's the MiG 31. Suitable for single player only, not multiplayer. I used it on open beta 2.5.6. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.